Bhagavad Gita, text 4.13 In consideration of the influence of the gunas and one's karma, I created the fourfold divisions of socio-religious order, caste. Although I created this system, you should know that I am imperishable and not responsible for the results derived from it. Krishna creates the socio-religious system of the four orders. In this system, prescribed duties correspond with one's acquired karmic propensity, which is determined by the threefold influence, gunas, of material nature. Thus, persons predominantly influenced by sattva, goodness, are prescribed the religious work suitable for intellectuals, whereas warriors like Arjuna, who are predominantly influenced by rajas, passion, are enjoined to administer, organize and lead people in religious life. Those whose psyche is predominantly influenced by an admixture of rajas and tamas, ignorance, are enjoined to mercantile and agricultural activity, while those predominantly under the influence of tamas are enjoined to labor. Krishna will speak more about the influence of these modes of nature, gunas, and thereby indirectly about this socio-religious system later, in chapters 14, 17 and 18. Otherwise, the system itself is well known to Arjuna, as it was in place at the time. Varn Ashram Dharma is rooted in ultimate reality, in that it superficially governs interaction in Krishna Leela and is mentioned here as having been created by God himself. Thus, its essence must have universal application. It is essentially a systematic attempt to organize society so that in the course of realizing material values, spiritual values are also pursued. It is a system in which the spiritual is given the highest priority. However, many of its particulars relevant to Vedic times, such as its monarchical form of government, would be counterproductive to attempt to implement in today's society. Indeed, any attempt to resurrect Varn Ashram Dharma in all respects will be fraught with obstacles, while its essence, its spirit of dutiful work, and the ultimate ideal it seeks to gently push one in the direction of, should meet with wide acceptance. Here, Krishna seeks not to explain this system, but merely to point out his own position in relationship to it. Although he is its creator, he stands aloof from it. The system itself gives results in accordance with how individuals apply themselves. Krishna is beyond the socio-religious system he sets in motion, and thus the method of attaining love for him and entering his leela cannot come from merely following this system alone. Other than making this important point in the context of his ultimate advocacy of devotion, Krishna points here to himself as the example of one who acts without accruing karmic reactions. One could hardly imagine doing something more than establishing a socio-religious system, yet although he has done so, Krishna says that he is not bound by it. This is what Krishna wants Arjuna to do at present. Act such 
that he is not bound by karmic reactions. Krishna also wants Arjuna to understand his supreme status. Thus, while explaining his unique position, knowledge of which is essential for devotion, Krishna also points to his own example in the next verse to further inspire Arjuna to act in Karma Yoga.